Dacha hao, Wosha Michael Larson, Wosha Neiman to Pung you. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Larson from BBC IML, and this is a moment with Mike. Got my hat on today because the bugs are kind of bad out here, but uh, beautiful background behind me. And talking about uh, one of the questions I had the other day uh, about what was the best advice you ever got. Patty Genoa had a good one, uh, and it really kind of summed up what a lot of people were saying. But it was, uh, let me see if I remember this right now. Uh, it is uh, quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, and don't take offense. You know, as humans, we like to generalize. We want to make quick decisions. That's the way we're designed is to make quick decisions. The first time you see a doorknob, it might take you a moment to figure it out. But the next time you see it, it's easier. Next time, even easier. But then you come across a new doorknob. And you have to kind of figure it out. But then you start to generalize. And then you come across another style of doorknob. Well, eventually you've seen enough of the styles of doorknobs that you can pretty much figure all of them out because you can generalize. Well, do I have to turn, pull, or something to open this door? And your mind gets through it pretty quickly. It's kind of the same when we come across people. You know, part of it is we want to get our importance. We want people to believe we're smart. We want people to believe that we can figure things out really quickly. And sometimes we assume, I call it mystical agreement. Actually, I heard that from a course I took once. Um, but at any rate, we want to figure things out quickly, save time, and we want to get our importance out of it. We want people to think we're smart. And sometimes we guess wrong. And it gets us into trouble with people sometimes. And people take it the wrong way and, and it can turn into conflict when it should have been something that was very good conversation. So I always say, no matter what somebody says, I, I uh, want to make sure I understand what, what it was that they were uh, trying to say. So I always ask them. And that does a number of things. First of all, if you ask them for help on what they said, they're going to like helping you. It's going to make them feel good. And then they can clarify. And you might have been wrong. For instance, um, if, if for, for instance, somebody says that, uh, oh, I, I can't afford that. You know, it might not be the money. And if you say, oh, I'm sorry, uh, can I help you with some money or something? They might take offense to that. But if... You can uh, clarify what it is. So when you say afford that, what is, what is it that you mean? And they might say, well, I just don't have the time to do it. It's a very good clarification. And then you can have a conversation with them and you don't have to worry about being wrong about it. No matter what they say, you should always clarify. It, it, people want to feel they're more okay than you. And if you do that, if you take that approach, you're going to make them feel like they're more okay, that you need a little bit of help, and that's okay. But you got to represent that as your importance, that you're smart enough to be able to have that conversation with them and help them out, and they can help you out. And then you really can, can connect with people. So I thought that was great advice. And there was lots of people that talked about uh, adding value to others and, and, and advice they had gotten about that and, and don't take yourself too seriously. And that's true. Don't take yourself too seriously. Most of the time, in fact, almost all the time, people have good intentions and we should assume that they have good intentions. We shouldn't assume that uh, somebody has bad intentions. And if, they, if you think they, what they said is bad intentions, clarify it because it's likely you're just un misunderstanding it. If you're not, well, then you know how to handle it from that point on. But don't assume right away. Uh, we should never assume. And even if it's good intentions that you see, make sure that you understand exactly what it is they're talking about so you can have connection. And it makes for a good conversation when you take that approach. So I hope this finds you well. Have a super fantastic day. If you like the message here and you like some of the questions and information on Facebook, uh, I'd love to have you here and sharing with me. And if you have a, something you'd like to share, I do my Facebook Live every evening at 7 o'clock p.m. If you have something you'd like to, for me to talk about or share, a uh, question in your life that you're comfortable with, I'd be happy to do that. Email me at mike at inspiredmotivatedleadership.com or you can message, or message me. Well, yeah, message me. Text me on Messenger and we will talk soon.